Hello. Guys I hope you all are doing well, and today's video is going to be about rational unified process. So let's get right into the video. The rational unified process is an iterative software development process framework. Created by the Rational Software Corporation, a division of IBM since 2003. Its features are Iterative development Requirements management Component-based architectural vision Change control management Let's talk about features of Rational Unified Process Model. The first one is Iterative Development. Iterative Development feature recognizes the reality of changing requirements. As per Casper's Jones's research on 8000 projects, 40% of final requirements arrived after the analysis phase, after development had already begun. It promotes early risk mitigation. By breaking down the system into mini projects and focusing on the riskier elements first. Allows you to plan a little. Design a little. And code a little. Encourages all participants. Including testers. Integrators. And technical writers to be involved earlier on. Allows the process itself to modulate with each iteration. Allowing you to correct errors sooner and put into practice lessons learned in the prior iteration. Focuses on component architectures. Not final Big Bang deployments. And further. It allows for software to evolve. Not be produced in one huge effort. Allows software to improve. By giving enough time to the evolutionary process itself, forces attention on stability. For only a stable foundation can support multiple additions. Allows the system to actually run much sooner than with other processes. Allows for the management of risk. By exposing problems earlier on in the development process. Goals and features of each iteration. The primary goal of each iteration is to slowly chip away at the risk facing the project, namely performance risks, integration risks, conceptual risks, perform a mini waterfall project that ends with a delivery of something tangible in code available for scrutiny by the interested parties, which produces validation or correctives. Each iteration is risk-driven. The result of a single iteration is an increment. An incremental is an improvement of the system. Yielding an evolutionary approach. Now let's talk about how to do risk management. Identification of the risks that could cause problems to product development. Iterative incremental development, early testing, and deployment as opposed to late testing in traditional methods. I think that's it for today. I hope you will enjoy this video. In next videos we will learn about the development phases of rational unified process in detail. Soon I will upload next video also.